Hello everyone and welcome to a Let's Play. Welcome to Day of Tentacle Remastered. I decided it to, to do this game and here I am. I'm going to quickly go over why it looks like I've played this game before. That's because I have. I played it for an hour. Um, that's, but there's a problem with it. Uh, all my commentary was lost. For some reason my microphone decided it didn't want to work. It didn't want to record anything. So here I am, starting over from scratch. Um, and doing it again. Um, so yeah, I know the first part of it. Um, as I said, I, I know most of it anyway because I played this game in the 1990s when it first came out. Um, so now I do, at least don't have to play it emulated anymore, which is good. Um, because you had to emulate the old PC version because it doesn't quite work very well anymore. And you have to emulate it through the, uh, SQM, um, scum emulator to get it to work. Otherwise it just doesn't work. Yeah, it's a thing. So you can have the old games that just don't work. So you've got to buy an old game. But anyway, let's get started. Uh, I'm not going to talk during the actual conversations. Um, and we'll see how fast I can go through this game. It shouldn't take me that long. Because in an hour I was 20% through. So yeah, that's a thing. But yeah, let's get started. Again, for the third time. I do have some concept art unlocked as well. So let's look through that a little bit. Um, it shows like the concept art throughout the game. Um, you unlock it as you go throughout the game. Which is great and awesome and stuff. So yeah, let us go on. Uh, you will lose your auto save. Do you want to continue? Are you sure you want to start a new game? Yes. What I may do is I may do the introduction. I may get to kind of where I am and then load back up my save to just save some time. Because I really didn't do... It won't be that much, but I will just be missing a little bit of the conversations and stuff that I've done. But... It'll be skipping a lot of the yoinking uh, around. So the whole point of it is a point-click adventure game. So you go around and you grab the stuff. And but yeah, let's get to, to this. think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. Like I could. Take, Take on, on the world. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now I know that I must go back to the mansion. Okay, now we know the whole stick. The effect is Purple Tentacle has become the evil overlord. All hell, Purple Tentacle, the evil overlord. Um, yeah, this is a game I played a long time ago. In fact, I love this game so much that in like 2013, I created like a little figurine of Purple. Um, because there is no official figurine to these characters and stuff, so I made my own. 
Um, it's a point and click adventure game. I loved them at the time. So that's really the only PC games I kind of played. Um, most of the other games I played at the time were Atari-ish, so I, I, I stunk at them. But this is the kind of games I played on PC. I played some other stuff on PC, but I don't remember most of them. Um, but yeah, this game was one of my favorites. It's kind of like a cartoon to me. I guess that's probably why I liked it, because it's comedic. Um, as I said, I've decided that since I have done some of this stuff in the previous playthrough, uh, the, the cutscene, uh, the audio is cut out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go through the motions of getting the stuff as I did to set up to get what I've done. And that way I have it to where I can just load that save file. Actually, it probably would be the same as... Uh, I'll just get the things that I know I need. I mean, it's be the same, I guess, because I'll still need everything. Um... So I can just get everything just like normal. It's just yoinking everything from every room. So it's no big deal. Because I don't really have to talk to anybody, particularly until I'm ready to interact with them. So it's just getting ready to interact with them. Um, so yeah. Here we are. I'm ready to start this game. And get to yoinking things, as I call them. Gathering and collecting and all that goodness. We're being watched. I never played the first game, Maniac Mansion. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain command HQ here in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drones. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Somewhere. Okay, the controls. I'll be using the mouse controls. That's my thing. I can do inventory or I can just do that, which is what I've been doing in the previous uh, thing. So let's start yoinking. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. Sure. Uh, there's some gum stuck to the floor that I can't get yet. Mm, it's rather I stuck. It's stuck to the floor. So let's start grabbing stuff. Let us start grabbing everything we need to get through this game. Even though, even the first time I played this thing, I, um... Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. Even the first time I played it, it's I knew... Closed. I knew exactly where everything was. As I said, I've played this game, like, so many it's times. A of correctional fluid. I've, I've done so many things. I've done this so many times. Looks like that Dr. I kind of know where everything is weight. anyway. Because, just, as I said, this was kind of one of my favorite games. So I kind of... I kind of just got used to it, and I kind of memorized where everything is. The safe is closed. So it's the thing that you just learn over time. Because I was like, oh no, where is the secret lab at? Uh -huh. Like, once you play this game the once, you know passage. where it is. Like, this seriously. Is too easy. And then Bernard goes downstairs like an idiot he is, and frees the stupid tentacles like an idiot. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. No, Seen any no. tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Dun dun dun. Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. 
He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Yes, he uh, is. I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Take over the world. Leaping Labrat! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now, Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Oops. Oh, the horror. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! Through the time machine! This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogon! Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive! Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not! This is the first time I've ever tried it on people! Huh, that's great. Obviously the game was suggested. Well, I'll be! Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. <laughs> it works! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough. Crack. Uh-oh. It wasn't, was it? Dun dun dun. Separated. Cheap mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will! As soon as I get a new diamond, then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, but of where course. did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plan. Step two, save world. Step three, Get out of my house! Let's get cracking! That's why you don't go into people's houses uninvited. You have to save the world from evil purple tentacles. Alrighty. Back to control I have? Yes. Now. There are things I can start collecting now. So let's go collect a few Maybe more things. Put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs! Because I know where the plans are. 
Plans are right there on the wall. Um, but let's go collect a couple of things that I need in the other areas. Yoo-hoo! Dr. Fred? Let's go collect some stuff that I need for the other peoples. Because what you have to do, you have to trade the things back and forth. And right now, I need to use this door. Let's go in here and grab the coffee. Can I put them together? Never mix, never worry. Never mix, never worry. Um, let's grab this fork. Okay. Just grabbing everything you need to get. It's just getting everything. That's the thing. Is remembering where everything is, and actually. You put quarters into the dryer there. It's actually getting everything you need. This is as open as it gets. <laughs> it's pretty, very broken. Do not sit on machines. I think I can done everything I can there at the moment. I can open this. Go here and talk to this derp. Hey boy, you missed the party. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. At the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention. Yay, jokes. I tell you, we Novelty Good Salesmen <laughs> know how to have a good time. Yay. Nice cigars. Nice? These babies are practically exploding with tobacco goodness. Oh, want a cigar? Sorry, my mom told me never to smoke. Hey, if I listened to my mom, I wouldn't be where I am today. Mm-hmm. Well, suit yourself, boy. I gotta get one of them. I don't remember how to get one of them. Um. Jumpy little sucker. I need the teeth. That's why I opened the vent. They are trapped now. They belong to me. They are mine. Cool. I gotta get several things that you have to interact with people in a certain way to get their stuff. And sometimes you're just unable to interact with them in certain ways right now. So it's just getting. I wouldn't want to strain myself. I wouldn't want to strain myself. I wouldn't want to strain myself. It's tricky. There's nothing up in here, is there? No, there's something up in the rooms for him. There's nothing in here for him, is there? Mm -mm. There's nothing up in here for him. Nothing up in these top rooms for him. It's interesting. Um, those are those people in those rooms. I can't do anything with them right now. Must hang out with my BFFF of green tentacle here. Green! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, Hiding. I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? He's hiding. Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Like... Designing a miniaturization ray? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. No, no. Politics. How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing great! We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Really? Which quality is that? Volume, man! Volume! We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. Cool. Awesome. It's great. Yeah. Want to help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. He suctioned up to the spot. The daylight's out of me. 
See you later. Okay. Yeah. Good luck in saving the world, BFF. Yeah, bro. Anyway, our BFF at Green is just like hanging out here forever. So let us. Wow. This is loud. Yeah, he said. Didn't he? Fake barf. Yay. Awesome music, Green Man. But well, let's turn it off. Whew. Slightly loud. Later, Green. Oh no, the cow tipping. From volume 3302, a triangular man has been spotted tipping cows. Whatever shall we do? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Um, go that way. Other rooms, I really can't do anything in them yet, so... Yeah. I'll have to wait a little bit longer for that. So actually, I think I'm done with him for the moment, so let us go. I think I'm gonna go in there. Let us grab this up. Yoink it on it. And go on back downstairs. Let's get switched over over to Hoagie. Let's yoink these on it's up. Doctor Fred's design for a super battery. I've got the plans. Yay! Quick, we have to flush them to Hoagie. How did you get over there? Magic. My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flush them. Yep. Yes. Down the toilet. No, through time. Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello. Hello. Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's his name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world. And now the toilet's backing up. Okay. Come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. <laughs> Time for me to save the world, I guess. Yes, I guess. Well, I think I will leave it here now that I've gotten Hoagie unlocked. I got Bernard and Hoagie. Now, next time, I'll work on getting um, Laverne unlocked. And I'll start yoinking things with him. But I got it first, I gotta give Red Edison the plans, and I will have to get, um, start. Nice. I'll have to start um, getting her unlocked. But until next time, guys, I'll see you then. Bye!